All right, guys, so I'm just going to talk about some of the past signings, uh, even from yesterday, that I, that I did not cover as I you know went to bed. I went to bed a little bit early. But the New York Jets signed Corey Davis to a three-year, $37.5 million contract. And for the New York Jets, obviously, they're trying to, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to really get players um, that obviously can kind of bail them out uh, out, of, out of their horrible situation of uh, just being just a horrible football team and a horrible football organization. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, they signed Corey Davis, who's a number two receiver. Uh, if they expect him to be a number one receiver, then that's not the guy. Corey Davis is more is more of a he's more of a number of a true number two receiver. Um, he's a guy that's going to get you, you know, if he can stay healthy, he's a guy that's going to get you around maybe 60, 70 catches for around like maybe 800, 900 receiving yards. That's the type of player Corey Davis is. And that's if he has a true compliment uh, that's playing right beside him. And I don't know if Jameson Crowder, who's your slot receiver, is going to be that guy. Now, Jameson Crowder was the best receiver on the team from last year. Maybe they're expecting Denzel Mims to kind of step up and be that role. Maybe step up and be that number one, or I, I don't know what they're going to do with Denzel Mims. Um, would I be completely shocked if the Jets draft a receiver in the first round? Absolutely not. I mean, you know, if they decide to kind of run with Sam Darnold, uh, they could honestly draft a Jamar Chase or a Devontae Smith type of receiver, complement that with Jamison Crowder in the slot and with Corey Davis. And I think that the Jets will have a really, really good, nice receiving core. Um, Again, and then you have to include Denzel Mims in that situation, who's also a first-round talent. So, yeah, I mean, just by that situation, the Jets could have a lot of talent. And not just that, but you really get to see what Sam Darnold has now that he officially has the weapons um, for him to actually throw the football to. Again, you know, I'm not I, I, I'm not too sure if they have two first-round picks or not. I know the Dolphins do and some other teams do. Not too sure if the Jets do. So, Jets fans, let me know in the comic session if you guys do have two first-round picks. Because otherwise, we could see a quarterback with that top two pick, and we could see a receiver late in the first. Again, I'm not entirely sure if the Jets have those two first-round picks, but overall-wise, I think that this is a solid signing. Again, you guys need receivers on the outside. Corey Davis is a pretty good outside receiver. He's not a number one guy. He's a number two He's a number two guy, but if you have another receiver that can kind of complement him, then I think that Corey Davis is going to be a, is going to be a, not a breakout star, but he's going to be a very, very good receiver for the Jets for the next two to three years. Um, $37.5 million. I don't think it's that much money. I don't think it's really going to hurt the Jets that much in, when it comes to cap space and cap situations. They did sign another big player that I'm going to be covering in a little bit yesterday as well. But overall, overall wise for the New York Jets, you need more weapons. You see what the Patriots, the Dolphins, and the Buffalo Bills are doing over the last, you know, two to, you know, over the last two years, including what the Patriots are doing now. The Jets need to keep up. I think Corey Davis is a solid signing.